Morning. Sleep okay? Yeah. That'll do you some breakfast. No, I've got to go. Kane wants me in early. Right, that's it, is it? You're just going to go off to work like nothing's happened. Just need the bar towels. See you later. Are you OK? Yeah. It's good that he's gone into work. Chaz, whatever's gone on, he'll get through it. He's got you behind him. I've called Rachel into work, so we're fine for staff. If you need me, give me a shout. Ah, oh, look at Alex doing all his job. Yeah, well, I've got to earn me keep, haven't I? It's not like you can pay your way. God, Andy, just get off his case. Well, Sarah's back today, which probably means I'll be doing less hours. I can't bail him out. Look, I'll sort it, all right? Aye, aye. What's this? Oh, it's Jacob's football kit. Think she left it on purpose? Don't be stupid. That and a couple of thongs. Well, do you want me to go around with them? No, it's all right. Catch you later. I've scrubbed that kitchen from top to bottom. So if I see one dirty dish or scabby bit of potato You didn't peeling... have to do that. Uh, yeah, I did. It was minging. Strictly speaking, it's Marlon's responsibility. Oh, I don't mind helping out. By the way, thanks for coming in. Sorry it was such short notice. Mm. Listen, I'm always up for extra hours. I've got to do something to get all that flat. Is that bad? Even the cockroaches have packed the bags. What's up with Chaz, anyway? She's got some stuff on. Oh, I know how that feels. Have you met my sister, Ali? Does she talk as much as you? Um, sorry, am I getting on your nerves? No, 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 no. Just an observation. Well, I don't like silences. Do you want me to shut up? Maybe just reduce the amount of words. Don't worry, pet. I think he quite likes it. Guess who? Kane, how many <gasps> more times? That is seriously not funny. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. I'm just going up to the factory. I thought I might catch you in here. Oh, babe, I've missed you. So go on, tell me. How did they take the news? Surprisingly well. <gasps> what, no kickoffs from Mummy, dearest? Took it all in a stride. Oh, when are we going to meet them? Hey? Yeah, come on, Jay. This in-law thing, it's new ground for me. I want to do it properly. Let them just get used to the fact that I'm getting married first. There's no rush. No. Do you want a drink? Thanks. He's had me demented looking for this. Yeah, sorry, I've only just found it. Heard about your job? Well, I won't be working for Declan if you didn't have to, but obviously I've got Sarah to think about. Back today, ain't she? Yeah, I'm some way there now. Well, uh, tell her I was asking after her, yeah? All set for tonight? Unless something's come up. Nope. I'm all yours. Well, do you two have a good night? No regrets? No. Just a bit awkward, innit? <laughs> Well, he didn't seem that bothered. I'll see you tonight. Right. So basically, they've put everything up. Jim is blaming it on increased fuel costs. Well, so we take the hit for them. I don't really laugh at them. Still cheaper than anyone else. Kind of leaves you up the creek without a paddle, though, doesn't it? Yeah, you could say that with a little bit less delight. No, you know, you should have left in charge, babe. Have you two been like this the whole time I've been away? Oh. How did it go with Mum? Uh, yeah, very good. Yeah, really good. In fact, so good that the wedding is on. So it's all systems go, Nicole. I'm going. Bye, babe. Bye. All systems go, eh? Yep. Mum wasn't worried. You've only been seeing each other for a few months. No. She didn't ask about Charity's background. What kind of family she's from. Um, um, not really. Sure, you know, it might have come up at some point. It's just she hasn't been in touch. Then I obviously answered all of her questions, didn't I? Looking forward to it, then. Can't wait. Neither can I. No, Cameron? Uh, no, we had to stay on an extra day. I wanted to stay with him. Yeah, well, so did I, but we had to come home, didn't we? 
back to reality now. So then, did you have a good time? I got you and Alicia a present. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's in your case upstairs. Go and get it. Yeah, go on. Hurry up. So, where is your other half? She could have picked up the phone while we're away. Sarah kept asking why she hadn't been in touch. Uh, yeah, I wanted to wait till you got back to tell her. Tell her what? <clears throat> well, after you guys left, things weren't working too well, so... I called it a day. You're not seeing her anymore? Like I told Alicia, I've got to put Sarah first now. We don't know what we've got to face. I can't expect her to put her life on hold. So you finished with her? It's not that shocking, is it? <laughs> well, it is usually the other way around. Are you sure this is what you want? I don't have a choice. I just thought I'd call in and see how things were. I tried to talk to him last night when you'd gone, and I got nowhere. At least it's out in the open now. What difference does that make? We can help him. No, Paddy. You don't understand. He doesn't want any help. That's what he said. He, this is just something he does, and he's not going to stop. You are? That's what we're supposed to do now, hmm? Sit back and let him get on with it? Well, he has to stop. We have to make him stop. How? Well, he doesn't even think that he's got a problem. Paddy, he thinks this is the solution. I mean, whatever messed up stuff he's got going on up here, he thinks that hurting himself is going to get him through it. Maybe I'll have a word with him. I'll try and get him to see a, a doctor or a counsellor or someone. Yeah, good luck with that, because the last time I mentioned it, he crashed the car with me, innit? Well, we have to do something. No, you don't. Get off. Sit down. Please, Aaron. We just want to talk to Well, you. I've said everything I want to say. Well, I haven't, so sit down! Alicia! Sarah! Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> How are your holiday? Brilliant. Sorry. This looks well. Yeah? My daddy said you're not his girlfriend anymore. Uh, no. Does that mean we can't see each other? Well, it just might be a little bit more difficult. Can you and Jake come over tonight? Um, I don't think so. Come on. Leave Alicia alone. I want to give Alicia her present. Oh, I'm sorry, love. I'm, I'm off out tonight. How about tomorrow? No, I can't see you tomorrow either. Sarah, come on. Your mum's going to wonder where you are. Maybe another time. If you're at a loose end, there's plenty of jobs to keep you occupied. I'm on my break. Yeah. Well, straighten your face. You're putting the customers off the drinks. What's up? Our latest can't find any work, which means he can't pay his rent, which means I'm stuck in this dump forever. Isn't it nice to be appreciated? <laughs> it's better than my place. I can't even sit in my own front room. I hate my life. Just wait round her. We uh, could have gone across the road. Oh, but Brenda's not half as good a chef as Marlon. I'll second that. <laughs> what do you fancy? Oh, I'm not really hungry, actually. I'll go for the steak pie. It's halfway decent. But don't tell Marlon that. I don't want him to get big head. That ship sailed long ago. Are you working behind the bar now? Oh, I'm on temporary pot washing duty, and then it's back to slave driver in the kitchen. Take no notice. She's got him wrapped round her little finger. He was even teaching her to cook the other night. Oh, of course. How did it go? Rubbish. I can't boil toast, mate. You didn't do too badly. <laughs> Only because you were there. I couldn't have done it on my own. We're going to have to watch these two. It's like a mutual admiration society. Mm. <whistles> Tell you what, he scrubs up well. Have you got an interview? No, it's more of an appointment. For a job? It's better than that. So you coming or what? I know you're worried. Worried? <laughs> that doesn't even come close. Your mum told me what you'd said. I'm not asking you to understand it. Of course we don't flaming understand it. Chaz. I don't know what you want me to say. That it's going to stop. I can't. 
right, we're not going anywhere until this is sorted. Will you look at your mum? Can you not see what this is doing to her? What are you doing to yourself? Look, we know what you went through over Jackson. And you obviously feel like you can't cope with that. I'm sorry that you found out. Right, I am. And I wish you hadn't. There are people that know how to deal with this sort of thing. People that can help. No. Oh, for God's sake, listen to Paddy. Look, if it makes you feel better, I can tell you that I'm going to stop, but it'd be a lie. And I don't want to lie to you. So just let me get on with it. Yeah? And then everyone will be happy. You out tonight? Me? No, I have to ever go out. <laughs> so there's no special someone to go home to? <laughs> I don't think anyone would put up with me. <laughs> you should line up some more cookery lessons with Marlon. Oh, that was just a one-off. Yeah, but you seem to get on really well. Mm, yeah, he's all right. Be nice if you met someone. There's only one person he's interested in at the moment. Leo. The rest of us don't get a look in. <laughs> Maybe I should get a counsellor to come here. The thing is, even if we manage to get him in a room with someone, we can't make him talk. Well, then tell me what else to do, Paddy, because I swear to God, I don't know anymore. We'll sort it. Somehow. How? How are we going to sort this? We'll find a way. <sighs> hey, you all right? Well, not really, no. Oh, if there's anything I can... There's not, is there? The only person that can solve this is Aaron. I'm sorry, are these finished? Yeah, thanks. Yep. How's the book coming along? Oh, uh, slowly. Can't seem to get myself going at the minute. Well, you're going to have to finish it, especially after all the hours we've put in. Well, maybe that's it. I need you to motivate me. Yeah, well, you're just going to have to finish it on your own. Or you could always ask Rachel. Ra yeah, but I think she really likes you. Does she? Seriously, yeah. What are you two whispering about? Oh, I was just giving Marlon a few tips on his love life. Oh, I'm sure Marlon's more than capable of sorting that out for himself. <laughs> so, what are we going to do now? Well, I have drunk far too much. Well, go back to mine then, I'll take advantage of you. <laughs> Backwards and coming forwards, you are you? It's either my place or we set the rumour mill running in there. Or we go somewhere else. No. I'm a free agent. I can do what I like. What are you two doing? Just checking out the local housing market. <laughs> you see that then? Well, flying pig. Okay. Tell me what this is all about. Look, I know what I'm doing, all right. Mr. Hollander, Julian. I'm Alex, and this is my girlfriend Victoria. Do you have a copy of the details? Uh, there'll be no need for all that. Do you know the asking price? This is quite a desirable area. Uh, let's just say I can afford it. I've inherited a large sum from my granddad, and we're just looking for something to do with it, aren't we? All right. So we. Talking a cash sale. If we like it. But we have got a few more to see. Well, um, this is a great property. Um, after you. Pint, red wine, and a smile, please, Dan. I can manage the drinks. You can take it out of that. I'll be back in a minute. What are you going to say? I appreciate you have to move on, but why come in here? Andy finished with me, remember, Diane? Because his daughter is sick. Oh, what? So I can't have a life? All I'm saying is, don't rub his nose in it. 
He's got enough on his plate. What do you think? Ah, uh, well, it's not as spacious as I thought. Well, we do have bigger properties. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, I don't know what price bracket you're working with. Let's just say money isn't a problem. I can show you some brochures right now. Uh, well, well, could you just show them to Victoria? I mean, I've just remembered there's somewhere I need to be. So, what other properties did you say you had? I'll tell you what. There's my card. Tell Alex to give me a call and we'll make you some appointments. OK. Good to meet you. And you. Bye. Yeah. What are you doing in there? You said you wanted the house. You won't get a cheaper deal than we're offering. You can always try. We're just trying to run a business like you. OK, fine. If you don't want us to turn up this week. You didn't say that. Then stop whining and let us get on with the job. <laughs> Come on, sit mm. down. Are you all right? Yeah. Could do without seeing those two, though. Yeah, she hasn't done anything. Oh, come on, Andy. She can do what she wants. I can't believe you're defending her. I finished it, not Alicia. Yeah, and now you're having second thoughts. Look, I'm not going to pretend that I like the girl, but if you feel like this, then why are you going to let go off with an idiot like that? You know why? Because of Sarah. Because, to be honest, she's absolutely gutted that you finished. So, uh, what did they want? Yeah. Just moaning, that's all. Talk about the village outcasts. You bothered? No. I'm used to people slagging me off. Well, maybe we should continue this back at mine. Mm, you just keep knocking at that door, don't you? I only meant for a drink, that's all. But if you feel like it's too soon. No. A drink would be nice. Stay here. Why not? We'll get arrested. No, we won't. What for? We haven't done anything wrong. You've broken into Declan's house. No, I've took possession of Declan's house. Haven't you ever heard the squatter's rights? As long as the place is empty and we don't damage anything, we can live here. Diana will go eight. She'll be glad to get rid of you. No, I mean, really. She will go ballistic. Yeah, but look, just think. Me and you. Place of our own. No one to tell us what to do. It is tempting. Well, this is what you wanted, isn't it? I suppose we could stay here for a bit, see if anyone noticed. Well, why don't we try out the master bedroom? Come on, then. I tell you what, I could definitely get used to this. Drink? Uh, better not. What's up? Don't you trust yourself? Well, I have heard that you're a little bit of a player. Oh, really? What else have you heard about me? That you've got a ruthless side. You use people to get what you want. So my name's Mud, as well, is it? <laughs> Where's uh, Jimmy and Nicola? They've gone somewhere with Angelica. They're out for the night. Look, I'm not sure if this is a good idea. You want to come back for a drink? I've had a really, really good night. But I think if I stay any longer, I'm going to end up regretting it. Sure I can't persuade you to change your mind? <laughs> I don't think so. I didn't get the player reputation for nothing, you know. I have had a good time. So let's do it again. See you soon. Where have you been? Did some overtime. Well, you could have phoned and let me know. Why? 
Because I'm your mother and I care about you. I can't take much more of this, Aaron. I can't sit back and watch you hurt yourself over and over again. You don't understand. Well, explain it to me. Because you might not need help, but I sure as hell do. What are you doing? Well, you say hurting yourself makes you feel better. Well, I want to feel better too. Mum, stop it. What is it? What is it that really hits the spot, Aaron? This looks good. Put the knife down. Will this help? You're freaking me out now. Well, now you know what it feels like! Mum, please. I don't know what else to do. I'm all out of solutions, Aaron. I just don't know what to do. Creating a tropical garden in Essex, it's the only way in this weather. Alan Tishmarsh shows us how to love your garden at eight. It's after Leanne's got more questions for Peter about Carla in Coronation Street next. <laughs>